that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well listen, there are more important things to yes. discuss, yes, and you are. alluded to this. Listen, I am, and I mean, I'm serious. This is going to sound sarcastic and cynical. I am, I am sad to report today that the United States is officially doomed. And, and listen, I get a lot of mail saying that I'm a hate monger, I'm a fear monger, and this. But listen, understand, when I reported on this a couple of weeks ago, I made the point that every great civilization, if you will study history, the fall of every great empire and civilization has started with two things. Number one has been the outright acceptance of sexual perversion, mainly homosexuality. Right. Well, we're there in the United States, so we've got that covered. Right. And the second is eventually those great empires and civilizations would turn to outright human sacrifice to pagan gods. Now, you can that, that's documented throughout biblical times and right up through the Roman Empire and on and on. Right. But we have arrived at that in the United States. Now, many would say that we arrived there in the Roe versus Wade decision and the 50 million babies that have been aborted since that time. Right. But what we found out this last week, is that just in fact what I said I thought we would find out just a couple of weeks ago when I reported on this, is that in the United States, in Oregon, we have been burning human baby fetuses, aborted fetuses, in a waste-to-energy program. Now, here, check this out. It's not enough that 15,000 babies that we know of were burned in Great Britain, aborted babies, uh, to heat their hospitals. We are now importing human waste, human uh, 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 fetal material of aborted babies from Canada to burn in the United States. Right. And, and that's, so, that's been well that, documented. I mean, we, that's been in some headline news, and it was exactly that, what you predicted. That, that is well documented. And let me just make this prediction. We will very soon find out that if we're going to the trouble to import uh, uh, aborted babies from Canada to burn, we are, in fact, burning aborted babies right here in the United States. Right. Well, all in all under under the terms of uh, an energy crisis, that this is a way of producing clean energy or of, uh, of uh, you know, getting away from coal and not using as much oil. No, this is human sacrifice. Our country is done. Right. Now, listen, this, this, this article comes out of uh, LifeSiteNews.com. They, they are a pro-life site. And they've documented this. They've got all the documentation there. But I found this unbelievable. The facility where this, where this uh, material, where these uh, aborted babies are being burned in Oregon, it's a refuse and recycle, uh, recycling, the Oregon Refuse and Recycling Association, okay? They, in 2007, an article was written in a local uh, publication in that area called the Williamette Live. And are you ready for the title of what the article was? Yeah, what's that? It was called Burn, Baby, Burn. Oh, my gosh. It had nothing to do with aborted babies being burned. That was just the chosen title of the article, Burn, Baby, Burn. And at that time, the article did document that they were burning about 800 tons of, quote, medical waste per year. Now, what we're finding out now is that some of that, quote, medical waste is, in fact, aborted babies that are being sacrificed in the name of energy do you here th- in the United States. Do you think, Brent, I mean, you have no way of knowing, and I don't either. I'm just, I'm just speculating with you. Do you think they had any idea when they gave it that title what was involved in that so-called refuse that was coming down from Canada? I mean, that, I think that's there's amazing. Only one, I think there's only one of two options. Yeah. Either they knew, and it was someone's sick joke at, at humor and at doing what is so often done through media, Right. of telling us, right, of hiding the truth in plain sight, right. of Te- telling us exactly what they're doing, right. or it was maybe a little bit of divine intervention to maybe give us a clue as to what we, we were going to find out in the future. Right, right. And then there's the third possibility, and that goes with the number one, and that is there was some, uh, there was some uh, demonic uh, in, in influence there. Yes. Just, yes. you, you know, yeah. mocking, mocking what was actually happening. Yeah, and there there are people, credible people. Uh, uh, Mike Schusmith is one of them that that firmly believes that uh, that that the media is is Satan's playground, <laughs> yeah. so to speak, yeah. to to tell us or to tell his his minions what the next move should be and and what the you know what the future will hold for them. Right. Uh, yeah. So so yeah, that's absolutely a, a, another possibility. But yeah. uh, you know, it's just sad. Again, I say this with uh, with no sarcasm. We are doomed. This country is over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, unless today, 
we choose to repent and turn away from the evils and atrocities that we have embraced. Right. And, and just get this, the church and the Christian community, I would say, is probably 99% at fault for all of this, for being scared to take a stand, yeah. for being scared to be called radical, for being scared to stand with the Clive and Bundys, if you yeah. will, Listen, of the world, there are the ent- controversial people yeah. of the world. No, you're right. We've got to take a break, Brandon, but there are entire denominations that refuse to speak to the radical homosexual agenda, nor will they will they speak to the abortion holocaust and what you and I are talking about. Entire denominations. So you're absolutely right. Okay, listen, we're going to take a time out when we come back. More-